So guys, um, just a quick video now about I'm doing this transition between the 2012 Mac Mini and the Mac M1 Mini with Studio One um, from Presonus, Presonus. And we know there are issues or, or potential issues. So I'm still sort of benchmarking these things as best I can. Um, I'm not super technical in that respect, but I've got one running. I've got them both running at the same time now. So this video is just about my comparing uh, running some VST synth instruments and number of tracks against from the Mac Mini 2012 i7 2.3 gig 16 gig of RAM uh, with against the Mac M1 two FireTix on board SSD 8 gig of RAM and uh, I've got a remote uh, Samsung SSD which doesn't really come into play in this so you'll see how uh, I'll try and benchmark the two running a number of tracks and see how we get from um, the, the amount of tracks that 2012 will run to the amount of tracks in VST that the um, M1 can run. Now, uh, it's not um, an exact science. <clears throat> There's all sorts of factors can affect this, but it's an idea of what's going on. The next one I'm going to do after this is um, an audio file. So I'm going to duplicate audio files on the Mac M1 until it breaks effectively and see where that takes us okay so dig in let me know anything that you think when doing right wrong if you want to try anything else if you want to load it up with effects give me a shout let's let's do it and let's see what it can handle okay guys here we go hi guys back again with the old studio one mac mini m1 versus 2012 uh, i'm just going to use the gopro again i'm going to open studio one in both macs at the same time and see what happens just to see how we go, here we go. So on the right is the Mini M1, one on the left. So M1's open. 2012 still struggling a little bit. Well it's not struggling, it's just not as quick. There we go, open. So what was that? about 40 seconds so now we're going to open the same song at the same time exactly the same song okay let's see this is a sampled song that I did with just some random tracks on it it's not even a complete song it's just random instruments I use for sort of a, a bit of a test bed for just messing around. Okay, so there's no interface on here, but it's open. The main one's open. That's about 40 seconds. The 2012 still opening. And that was about 55 seconds. So there we go, that's the speed of the Open Studio one and opening a typical track with the same amount of things on it. So guys, so the, the, the track, there was, I used one track as a, as a, a sample here. Um, so on the, on the 2012, the Mac Mini, this, this track uh, idled at around about 20% and uh, the, the, the single track on its own when played went up to about 45-50% CPU <clears throat> now the Mac uh, the M1 idled higher at about 30% but didn't really move when I played the track so it kind of held its own at the percentage so in idle it's more than the 2012 but in playing it stays the same whereas the 2012 uses more CPU so what I've done I've duplicated that track 10 times or nine more times on both machines okay so now i'm going to play the mac m1 first and it is idling currently at about 33 percent and there's the 10 tracks you can see just there so i'm just going to do this on the other so there's the 10 tracks just there and there is the CPU idle. So I'm going to play this now. So 
so there it is playing along and it's still going at 32% so I've duplicated 10 times played it the CPU hasn't moved virtually okay now then let's do the same on here so the M to 2012 we're idling at 31% duplicated the track 10 times now let's see what happens that's what happens 100% as good as it hasn't crashed but it's as good as stalled stopped it it's gone back so there you go that appears to be the distance now what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to that I'm not even going to try and duplicate it anymore on the um, 2012 but I am going to duplicate it on the M1 and see what happens okay guys so I've duplicated the tracks again so there's now 20 tracks there's now 20 tracks of this same audio playing CPU is still idling at around 34% Let's play it, see what happens. Okay, that's playing now. You can see the play bar. It's going 34, 37%. 37%, it's hardly moved a bit. Let's go again. Okay guys, so I've now duplicated 20 tracks into 40, so there's now 40 instances of this iris going on. Um, I don't know if we can see the iris in here. Well there they all are, there look. All those isotope iris instances. Now this is currently idling now at 48%. Let's see what happens if we play this. Okay, it's playing away, it's looping. 52%. Still going pretty strong, I'd say. Bear in mind the old 2012 could hardly handle 10 instances of this. So, should we go again? Okay, guys, so I had 80 instances running Isto Paris. I stopped it. Um, and it just crashed just well, there you go studio one quit unexpectedly so not sure if that was because it was maxed out but it wasn't maxed out I'm not sure what's happened there um, I'm gonna do it again because I want to change the block size see if it makes a difference oh folks not sure what happened there we did have a crash um, I think I might have tried to alter the block size while it was playing but either way I have changed the um, the block size now, <coughs> so we're at 4096, which is the, the top jolly. We have a input latency of 85, output 94 milliseconds. Processing is dropout is at high. That's what we've got there. Audio round trip 267, instrument 273. So we've got 18 instances open. I'm just going to play it again just to show you. It's running at 78%. Now I'll say again, the 2012 i7 2.3 16 gig RAM cra well, ca crashed out at 10 instances of this same VST. We've now got 80 instances running. That must say something, okay?